John, what would you say uh, of of those moments that where you can say, "Man, I, it's just so hard," and you're just and you're just getting frustrated at times? Because I've had my I've had my share of issues where I go, "God, it's it's rough." It, you get tired. You get tired of 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 always having so many reps and so many of you know, drills that you have to do. What is the motivator for you? What is your motivator to push through and go? I can do this, and I want to persevere, and I want to get my goal. Um, well, you know, I think my motivation is, you know, I like I myself, I'm a very competitive person, and I always want to be, you know, the best out there. And I think that's my main uh, motivation. When I'm, you know, when I'm having a bad day, snapping in the backyard or whatever, and just to keep working at it because I know that, you know, those those extra two snaps that I'm gonna do, it could be two more than you know, my competition doing. So I think that really helps me. And just my motivation just to keep going even when I'm having, you know, a bad day or something. So for that motivation of the bad days, um, is there a, a particular, uh, is there like a particular thing that gets you in, that gets in your mind that you tell yourself that gets you through? Um, like, you know, I would always have like a, a, a type of thing, go, look, I want to be better than everybody else. And my thing was, I want to be D1 and I want to be a scholarship guy. That was always something that I reverted back to. What's something that you revert back to every single day um, through a snap that's not your best? Because every single one of us has a snap that's not our best. Um, yeah, so when I'm, whenever I'm kind of, you know, in a drought or whatever, if you want to put it like that, I always, you know, picture or imagine, you know, there's a, you know, a Division One coach right next to me watching me snap. And that always helps me get focused in and get in my zone and just get in the rhythm almost and just kind of get out of a, a funk and then, you know. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Um, you always have to have that something that will get you to get out of that funk. And uh, that's a great way to go about it. Just pretty much imagine if that coach is next to you. It's the same type of thing that I would do. Um, to kind of switch gears here for you, um, do you have any particular tips that you feel would benefit the other NLS snappers, like especially the younger guys, the ones that have been starting out just recently, um, the ones that really could use um, some motivation? Um, yeah, so, you know, when you first start off long snapping, it's, you're not going to be, you're not going to be, you know, throwing six O's back there right at every time. I mean, everyone, even, the, you know, the guys in the NFL can tell you that when they first started, I guarantee you they were terrible. And I myself, when I first started, I was really bad. And that's something that, you know, you can't expect, you know, your first couple months snapping to be, like, amazing because it's just not going to happen, you know. It's, it takes work. It takes it takes time. It takes hours of, you know, watching film and um, just practicing in the backyard or in the football field or whatever. Um, and just don't get frustrated because every single person or every single, every single snapper, is, you know, is going to experience issues. And you're not the only one that is going to, you know, uh, have to overcome those obstacles. Yeah, that is that is very true. Um, uh, you always have to realize, look, I'm not the only one that's dealt with this. The person that's left and the right of me have dealt with something similar to this. Uh, very good. I like that a lot. Um, now, uh, you've been to many of the group sessions. You've been to the private sessions. Uh, do you have a preference of which sessions for NOLS that you like going to? And um, is there something that uh, you feel like you take away the most from, like, say, the group session and also the, the private sessions? Uh, well, you know, they're both great because, you know, you have the aspect of the group session where I'm competing against, you know, other nationally ranked guys like Steven and Hayden and guys who are all very, very good. And that, you know, the competition aspect um, is definitely, I think, one of the pluses in the group session because, you know, I always try to compete with those guys every single snap, every single drill that I'm doing. And I think that's, I mean, competition is always good for anyone in any 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 activity or any sport. Um, so, and then for the private, you know, you you're um, it's much more um, focused on like very specific aspects of your your forms that you know may not be able to get covered in the group sessions. So I think that both both of them bring you know positives to um like just the long run. Um, you know, but both of them are uh, I think very different, but Yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can definitely see that. I've actually had a lot of responses about that same exact thing. 
Um, and that's pretty much the goal. The goal is to have it to where you guys do see the competition and you guys do get the form work and drill work. Uh, speaking of form work and drill work, what what is like a one of your favorite drills that you work on and that you believe that truly has made a legitimate difference in your overall ability as a long snapper? Uh, my favorite drills, I'd probably say uh, every day I do these, I, I do slow motion drill with the ball. I do that probably 30, 35 times a day just to my day catching it because, you know, I mean, if you just slow down your snapping form and just try to make it perfect, you know, just going, you know, 100 times slower, it's going to, it's gonna, you're gonna see it work when you start snapping full speed. And, um, you know, also straight leg accuracy girl I always like. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, those are my two main ones I really like. But, um, you know, just, uh, I like playing kill sometimes when we do that. And, uh, uh, uh I do that with my dad sometimes. And, um, also sometimes we do that at, uh, you know, NLMA. So that's, that's fun too. So you're saying that your favorite drill is not uh, leg drives? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Sometimes, you know, when you get into a little aggression, leg drives are good, but, you know. Yeah, I, I know for me, I, I, those used to be one of my drills I hated the most, but I did do those every day, uh, just right. simply because I knew it was going to make me better. Um, do you have a particular goal in mind of what you want to do as a long snapper? What is the goal that you want to achieve? I think my overall goal, you know, that I think of every day is, you know, get a full ride to a division one school. Um, and I think that's a lot of a lot of people's goal, you know, is to get that full ride to a big time program. And you know, the fact of the matter is that you know not everyone can get that. And you know, it's, it comes down to who wants it more, who's going to work harder than the guy, you know, who, uh, who's going to work harder than your competition. And I think that's probably my uh, my main goal as of right now. Okay. And uh, one final question here to go off of your competition. What do you think is what separates you from others for the class of 2016? Um, I think, you know, just, uh, I think my passion for this because I, I you know, I, I love doing this. And, you know, I think that can't be said for a lot of people that say, honestly, like they want to go out every single day and get better. I mean, that's something that, I enjoy doing, and um, I just, I just love the aspect of long snap, and, and you know, I love the, um, you know, the challenge of you know just overcoming obstacles, you know, um, whether if it's your spiral or your you know balance or whatever it is. I just, you know, I love trying to you know figure out stuff like that. Okay.